heritage is a unique place where learning is universal and never stops everyone from the management to the school leaders to teachers even the parents are in continuous learning mode we have hundreds of hours of professional development every year where each one of us has an opportunity to learn and grow it all starts from the happier self and flows beautifully and seamlessly into all relationships leading to happy classrooms joyful learning happy homes and fulfilling life a child's first school is one of the most important chapters of her life it has the power of creating lasting impressions and so what really matters in this journey is the community that holds it together at heritage we truly believe that it takes a village to raise a child and so it is in our collaboration it's in our togetherness that deeper learning comes alive for our children children are born inquirers they are curious they are fearless they have a hunger to learn and grow and so it's our responsibility to conserve this very nature of the child and bring her gifts to the forefront Hi, my name's Spokey. I'm a lifetime educator. Over the last four decades, I've worked in three continents, in Singapore, in Germany, in Africa, and for the last decade, working with children from the richest and poorest environments across India. In that time, I've probably seen over 3,000 lessons and have worked now with over a million children. What this opportunity at Heritage does for me is enable me to lead a team of dedicated teachers and leaders who are interested in helping children to learn to put into practice those things that we now agree around the world impact most on children's learning enable children to become engaged collaborative learners and prepare them for the life ahead Well, if you're passionate and skilled and probably flexible, we'd love to have you. I think from our side though, you'll find us surprising. Uh, we have incredible integrity, uh, support and our own passion. And if you think back about why you wanted to become a teacher in the first place, that connection with students, uh, that feeling of connectedness, uh, making a difference because you really changed uh, learning for an individual student, that's what we care about too. And we give you the freedom to do that. Uh, incredible support in terms of training, coaching, uh, systems and structures that allow you to be you, uh, allow you to be self-reflective. And that's something that we'd expect from you too. Uh, thinking about what you do, whether or not it worked, uh, how it attached to an individual student is an incredibly important part of what we do. Um, we also believe in students and teachers trying things together, uh, trying for new solutions. So the idea of failing forward is important to us. We let you make those mistakes, um, then reflect on them and improve. Uh, that's an important part of who we are and the heritage spirit and the way the education works here. So I've been in India now for nearly three years and it's been honestly the greatest adventure of my life. A place where the culture is so rich, where there's such diversity, where there's such natural beauty, where the architecture just speaks about the history of the place. It's like nowhere else I've ever been. And one of the great things is Heritage understands expats. They understand how to transition them into the country, they understand the supports they need, and they understand the connections that an organization needs to make that transition work well. I've never been any place like Heritage where that transition is so smooth. So they've really got it down to a science here. We view teachers as leaders uh, in the school and uh, teachers as leaders inside class. Teachers were able to take control of the situation, of the, of the, of the classroom, their environment, surrounding. Teachers who are self-aware, that's where they are anchored. One is that. The other is we're also looking at distributed leadership. 
So uh, a teacher who's inside class also does a lot of leadership roles uh, along with that role uh, that she does of teaching and learning. So those various opportunities are available across the year, uh, across so many years that of your working in the school. Also, I myself started off as a an expedition teacher inside classroom and I saw a lot of opportunity to excel and learn from the various opportunities that were available in the school and then uh, move to a position of uh, heading a program so uh, and through that journey I worked like a master teacher I've, I've worked with uh, you know a group of teachers where a lot of uh, learning was happening uh, as part of the professional learning community so uh, all these opportunities are greatly available um, to view teachers as leaders, I think it's, it's a powerful position uh, to be in and uh, right from day one uh, till all the years that the teacher works in this organization. So the brief was very simple, set up a makerspace and ensure every child is catered by a makerspace. Now coming as a fresh graduate of design and tech, that was a huge challenge for me because technology, programming and all that fancy stuff is often taught in isolation. And the club model with which usually makerspace is catered to would not help ensure that every child learns to experiment and prototype through the club model. So the only solution was subject integration. At Heritage, we had to figure out a way where makerspaces is happening in tandem to mainstream subject. That it doesn't happen as a genius hour or wonder hour where they learn about biology, then they come and learn about something completely different as such as 3D printing or programming. We started off with lots of hopes and there were a lot of experimentation and failures on the way because it meant teachers, biology teachers, physics teachers, math teachers now tinkering with programming and seeing what that would mean for their subject. A year and a half later, we are now in tandem with mainstream subjects in the whole of the middle program. So what that would look like is let's say we learned about planets in expedition. What they do in the makerspace is create workable models of that planet motion with motors or with 3D printing or any tool that they are exposed in the makerspace. I chose to work here because I'm really valued for the merit that I bring. Um, no matter what your age is here, you're really able to expand your role and be creative and weave in the theories and wisdom from Western practice while also rooting everything that we do in the wisdom that's present in this school environment and this um, cultural context. So I get to learn a lot and I get to uh, expand my role and grow within that. Um, also, it's meaningful because the students that we work with are going to be, in many ways, the decision makers. And because they come from such immense privilege, I feel constantly this sense of responsibility to ensure that they grow up feeling that sense of opportunity for how to use their privilege effectively and constructively and especially in this environment and the current global context, ensuring that people who do have the opportunities that these kids do use those opportunities wisely on behalf of the greater societal good uh, is unbelievably fulfilling. Uh, we view teaching as a craft. We view teaching as something which you built mastery over time. Uh, mastery is never achieved. It's always pursued. I think that is an ethos of this place. And you, when you find your colleagues also having the same conversation, we have five. There's always pressure for resources, time. Uh, there is politics the way that is there in every organization. Uh, but I think all these are subsumed over the larger excitement of building one's craft. The entire philosophy is around loose control and tight support. Uh, really not having tracking mechanisms and deadlines that put a lot of pressure on you. 
instead providing a lot of support in a manner as we'd like them to support students. And how we do it is through extensive professional development where we practically try to develop an individualized educational program, an individualized growth program for every teacher so that they feel completely supported, uh, so they experience growth, they experience a sense of meaning and purpose and uh, that's been our driving force and that's where we think we found the maximum success in everything that we do.